promise made must be a promise kept. Aristotle. New Year's Day is perennially the time when people begin making promises and pledges to themselves about being better versions of themselves in the coming year. Recently, this channel has been asking its audience to join us over at the Florida Maquis Patreon page. It's going to be the platform of the future. Why? Free speech is not free, just like freedom is not free. The current state of social media has underwritten into it the idea that it's just free for everybody, and we've seen how that's turned out. It is now controlled by governments and liberal tyrants. But when you go behind a paywall, even for one dollar, it changes everything. And for the support of this declaration with a firm reliance on the protection of divine providence, we mutually pledge to each other our lives, our fortunes, and our sacred honor. You see, this was promise made, promise kept. I intend on delivering. In fact, today we have just uploaded to the Florida Maki Patreon page the second installment in Gloves Off, meaning speaking our minds and speaking freely. Some might say, well, it should be free here and it should be free. A lot of things should be that way. There should have been honor and integrity back in Great Britain, but there wasn't, so they fled. This is what is going to be the future. One dollar a month. Less than that if you sign up for a whole year. It's something like 90 cents. We've been able to partner with Vimeo to do this. This is going to be the platform of the future because nobody's going to ask themselves that question. What's going to happen when all of the truth tellers and all of the adventurers and all of the dreamers go behind paywalls? What's going to happen then? In today's video over there, we talk about, generally speaking, 24 logical fallacies, 24 cognitive biases, and how when you combine these together using military-level tactics, you can make people feel or believe anything you want them to. Now, I've also suggested recently that people follow the Patriot Nurse and listen to the Patriot Nurse. I haven't actually suggested specific videos. I thought I would in today's. Years ago, this is 10 July 2015, the Patriot Nurse put out a video called Get Your House in Order Now, the Supreme Court. It's an excellent, excellent video. It has almost a quarter of a million views. Also, Jennifer Veterans for Truth, back on 13 December of 2019, talked about a form of psychological operations that many weren't seeing. It's called the weaponization of porn. Whistleblowers tell all military uses mind control and what you should know. But the main topic of today's video. In the ancient world, things were known by different names. If I had related to you a story about how I was leaving Illyria and traveling overland to Isoria and then by sea to meet up with some folks in Leptis, and then from there travel to Saguntum, and then back over by land to my home in Illyria, you would have thought I was just dreaming, just making up make-believe places in some far-off fantasy world. Well, those were real places. They were just known by different names in the ancient world. Here, up here, of course, is Illyria, and of course, by land to Isoria, by sea to Leptis, and then perhaps by sea again over to Saguntum, and then by land, back home to Illyria. All real places. Some also have asked me, Florida Monkey, why do you waste time playing video games on Twitch? Well, when we look at the dreamers, the creators of these worlds, what we are seeing is the rebirth of of what were the ancient philosophers and astronomers and engineers and explorers. They're just doing it in a cyber world instead of in the real world, because what do we know about the real world? At least under the 
control of the tyrants we have now. The one last great, the two, I should say, last great frontiers, they don't really let you explore the deep oceans and Antarctica. So this is their refuge. This is where you'll find them. Some might take issue with me describing them that way, the dreamers. This is the axe of Archilochori that they found in the Mediterranean. I believe it was Greece. And it was unlike any other axe, a very common tool, that existed at that time. It was very ornate, and they don't know where it came from or who made it. This is the Phaistos disc. Inscribed with symbols they still can't translate to this day. Some of them have uh, certain commonalities with the Axe of Archilochori. There's the Disco Colgante, this strange copper plate, bronze plate, I believe, that was hammered out and made to have these uh, concentric rings, and there was a hole drilled, and when you lay it over, the Milky Way, it shows, generally speaking, where our sun would be. Thousands of years old. And then, of course, probably more familiar to my audience, the Saqqara bird and all of the little sculptures they found in Egypt that show what they thought were birds, but when looked at closely by engineers, they were actually aircraft. One even had a propeller on the front. Thousands of years old. What do all of these have in common? This is evidence of ancient explorers, engineers, linguists, and astronomers being dreamers. Things that did not exist, they made exist. Like symbols for written languages, a two-headed axe, a bird with the wings and tail of a plane. And something that probably could not have been explained in the ancient world. A planet being part of a solar system, a solar system part of a galaxy, part of a universe. See, these are the dreamers of their time. And some might say, is this tied to Antarctica? Well, I do believe so. I believe a lot of this technology came from there. And as the melting continues in Antarctica, in the next 50 to 100 years, we're going to start to find things. Not the least of which will be evidence of ships. I've shown this before, and I'm going to show this and a couple of others. Can somebody please, especially those pessimists out there, please explain to me how this is not the bow of a ship. I'll give you the coordinates. You can go find this for yourself using Google Earth Pro. You have to download it to a computer or a laptop. The web-based version won't show you this, meaning the one you can use on your phone. You need Google Earth Pro that you can download onto a computer. This is very, very clearly the bow of a ship that is protruded out through the snow. You can even see... The front right here where they, um, those of you who remember our investigation into the collision between the ACX crystal and the Fitzgerald, they kept describing over and over again this thing called a bulbous bow, the wave breaker, that are on all these large ships. You can also see a wave breaker on this, the hull. It's perfectly clear. You can see there's been excavation done out around it. Some things won't be nearly this clear, though, but they are there. This one came from a viewer long ago, and I can't remember the viewer's name. But I remember when he pointed it out, it was just clear as a bell. There's evidence of a collapsed bridge. And you have to be very careful the angle you look at this at because you can miss it. I looked at this area a dozen times and didn't see it, and he did. If you look right here, you can see an ancient Roman arch and then a broken one here. Now, when you pan out, 
it really shows where the bridge was. You can see the overlayment, the walkway here. You can see where it's collapsed and it collapsed into what was a gully. How the bridge continued here. And evidence of the pathway. And you can see it's a different color than the snow. Whatever this is, it's not natural. And you can see this ancient Roman road. There's another area we covered long ago, not very far from here. And it shows a constructed bridge over a gully. Now, when you look over here, do you see all the walls, 90 degrees, here and here? This is clearly evidence of an ancient settlement. But the smoking gun is this gully. Here's the pathways right here. There's a gully that goes in between this stand of rocks and this stand of rocks. Look right here. Somebody constructed a bridge to go from one side to the other over the top part of it to breach that chasm where you could come out on the other side. And it leads literally right into a settlement where you can see the remnants. There's kind of a curved base here. You can see, if you look closer down here, you can see another square structure here, another one here, subtype of an open courtyard here. But you can clearly see this. This is construction. It's just the ancient remnants of it. You can see the path, the walkway. And I don't know how you could ever explain this as natural. How this would be cut out just so perfectly 90 degree angles like this. Going from one side of a gully to the other. Without the intervention of man. So, this is what the future is going to be. And this is going to be the evidence of it. So anyone who has actually been to the Florida Maki Patreon channel partnering with Vimeo will attest, and they will do so down in the comments, that the gloves are off over there, especially after the first video, which probably wouldn't even have been allowed to be shown under any circumstances here on YouTube because of some of the imagery. But the imagery was necessary to create the point. So join us. It's going to be the future. If you want content that's going to be hard-hitting and honest and instructive, the reality is it's just not going to be free. Because we have seen now what free gets you. You're going to find the Patriot Nurse over there more often than not. And very likely, very, very soon, Jennifer Veterans for Truth. Her channel has been completely demonetized for a long time. And the reasons, she'll have to tell you over there. Because I can't even repeat them here. The world is changing again. Just like it changed in the past. If you would like to ask me questions directly, join us in the evenings over at Twitch. This is me, sitting up here in the upper right, live, playing the game, and people come there, and they ask me all sorts of stuff. I don't get into my personal life too much, so just want to put that out there. But psychological operations, Antarctica, if you have questions about Venezuela, or anything else like that, please join us. It's really a great time, or it's basically a bunch of guys sitting around, and girls sitting around, just relaxing, having a good time, and just uh, shooting the breeze. So, I will leave it there. God bless. Have a wonderful New Year's Day. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.